Hello Unreal users, Alex here, your Unreal guide, and today we're finally getting an update for our loft. This will be an official update for our Unreal Engine class. Okay, as you can see here, I've rendered a preview from that new updated scene that I've made. Basically, everything stays the same from the lighting point of view, but the models, this is what I'm going to show you today, how to really advanced and practically model your scene in order to be efficient and have all the resolution for your maps uh, to get a good quality. All right, so this is my preview from 3ds Max. This is what I want to achieve, uh, kind of lighting, this nice soft looking lighting with uh, cool blurry reflections here. This is the result I want to achieve uh, in my Unreal Engine. So it's very good to have your references rendered from 3ds Max or, you know, get a real photo in order to know what you want to achieve. You know, it's very hard to have everything in your head. You know, prior, uh, prior doing lighting, you should get some references. All right, so that's been said. I'm going to open my uh, loft scene. As you can see, I'm using the old standard of uh, gamma's input output. So that's a little inverse in order to get this nice contours. But we use uh, a little bit different setup, everything 2.2. So I'm just gonna keep adopt this gamma file unit setup. It doesn't really matter. It's just uh, an old scene setup for lighting and I didn't wanna flip it or change it. So I left it as it is, all right? Now, if we take a look at my scene right here, we'll be able to see that it's a very clean model and I'm gonna show you exactly why. So uh, if we click C and then I'm gonna show save frames, that's the scene basically. Um, nothing changed from previous scene uh, from the camera standing point, but all the models and everything was updated. So if we take our floor and go and isolate it, we'll be able to see, uh, let me just uh, remove this, save frames. All right, so we can see here that this model is basically a spline that I modeled from the top with the snapping points, so everything's nice and straight. Then on top of that, I put extrude, and I have extruded that plane and put a UV on top of it. Also, all the maps, uh, they cannot have any complicated materials, no color corrections, none of that stuff, so very simple things. Now, for this one, we're gonna use DataSmith in order to export everything, so you don't have to worry about making all uh, all of those changes that we did and previously the old method of converting and putting all the maps and wrapping making a light maps on a second channel all of that stuff can be done automatically by datasmith so if you don't know what i'm talking about forget about it we're just going to use datasmith plugin in order to export this all right so again it everything comes to uh to those also walls if we go isolated alt q same thing here, it's basically splines that were extruded and with the W map. So this is a clean modeling and I duplicated, this is actually a clone. You can see those lines are uh, in bold text. That means it's a clone of this one. So both of them will have, uh, if I do one change to one uh, of those bricks, it will do it to another one. So why did I do two of them like that if we just um, isolate them as you can see uh, I duplicated with clone with instance and I use snapping tools to snap it so modeling like this much better than having a whole one big wall because it's very hard to bake good quality lighting into a big map right makes sense if you make it in small maps you can get much better resolution in the smaller portions and um, after making a bunch of tests, I found that this is a really good method, breaking it down. You see, I have also two. So instead of having one big wall here, you know, and, and trying to force and bake really good quality into those walls, I'd rather separate them in two, clone them, and have a little bit smaller maps, which allow me to bake uh, more quality into them, okay? 
Uh, same thing goes to my glass door. This was the biggest problem in the previous model. Um, all those glass doors, the, the way I modeled them, the, they had some faces that were overlapping. So uh, here too, if I group open, we can see a simple line. Like, look, let me see, simple line. And then on that line, uh, we have extrude, right? So very basic stuff. I also put some rubber inside in order to emphasize it. But again, we don't have any more overlaps, so that's a good thing, okay? Um, again, everything here modeled the same way, line and extrude. So uh, my advice to you, try to stay with the simple forms. If you do any geometrical forms like tubes and stuff like that, we had a bunch of tubes on top here. Uh, to emphasize the uh, air conditioning and you know loft they have those uh, those kind of things going on here all right so I'm going to add more stuff we're going to kind of redesign this but as a base model this is pretty good it's ready to go it's all uh, unwrapped all the models are clean don't have any overlaps and uh, let me just prove it to you by exporting this into Unreal Engine, all right? So if you have any questions regarding modeling, uh, post them below. I'll be more than glad to assist you with, uh, you know, answering how to do this stuff properly. But the main idea is not to have too many complicated geometrical uh, forms with faces that overlap. This will cause overlapping in lighting maps inside Unreal. And uh, we're trying to avoid those complicated overlaps all right so just simple model line uh, spline and extrude will work just fine okay so i'm just going to copy that map here i forgot control v so i'm going to show this uh, i'm going to share this with you of course this um this scene so you can download it below i'm going to save it after this video control s all right, now we can export that into Unreal. So let's click export. As you can see, it goes automatically to my 3ds Max export folder. Here, I'm going to select Datasmith. And let's call it Loft 2020. And click Save. OK, we export everything. Um, complicated big maps, you will see it will take time to export. Simple scenes will go really in the blink of an eye as this one really fast, okay? So we have some errors, but not critical. Those are not errors, actually. This is, uh, I guess, warning partially not supported texture map, um, the color correction. So don't worry about it. It will, it says, are not supported. And if it's the first children, it will be used. So it will take the first map and just use it if you have any color correction. Not a big deal. But thank God, no overlapping faces, okay? And other textures, we have here some bump and smoke that also uh, not been uh, data smith in format. This will not be imported into Unreal Engine. So we'll have to find it and just replace it. Just, I don't see it here. But this is not something critical. And uh, we can go ahead and fire up our Unreal Engine now. So in my library, um, I have two. I have the 425 launch and 426. The 426 is going to have amazing new atmospherics, water, all that stuff was updated, but it doesn't have all the previous materials. Like I have the automotive beach that I'm going to use now and the materials for automotive, uh, you know, car paint and stuff like that. All of that needs to be converted into 4.6. So for this example, for light baking, for this interior, we're going to use 425 because this is uh, the version that uh, got all the other materials to work with. You know, the 426 is a new one and it's got to have a bunch of conversions. So let's launch uh, this, the 425.4. That's the latest 425 version came out. And, uh, you know, it's a good update, but the 4.26, you know, the preview, now the preview 4 is out. And uh, this stuff is just amazing, you know. Soon enough, we'll be launching those uh, tutorials to show you all the new sky, atmospherics, 
uh, the water, the ocean, whatever they have. Uh, this stuff is just amazing. Okay, I have to disconnect my Gear VR because it's been launched automatically every time we launch. So for this one, uh, you can see the interface changed a little bit. We're going to use architecture, engineering, and construction. And uh, I'm just going to do, you can, you can choose this ArcVis. It comes already with the sky and sand and everything. Uh, if you're new to Unreal, I uh, encourage you to explore different templates. But we're going to get this blank. And uh, let's start our project here with this uh, starter content. And uh, let's do ray tracing disabled. Uh, I'm using GTX graphic card, so I don't have uh, I don't have ray tracing. If I had RTX, I would probably do I would probably do the ray tracing. Okay. Now let's do loft twenty twenty. Give a name. Create project. Every time I'm launching, uh, I have to close this Gear VR. HTC Vive. All right, so I have here a starter scene. What I'm gonna do now is I'm actually going to add to this scene. I'm going to add my um, beach scene, which was provided for free here. So I'm gonna add to the project, and I'm gonna select this Loft 2020 that I just. Created. I'm gonna click add to the project so uh, it's got 4.5 gigs of information it's a really nice scene but it's already got everything there from the lighting point of view from the HDRI light streaks um, got nice color corrections some ambient inclusion already built in um, and in my opinion it's a very good and quick scene that you can just add to your project and uh, already have the lighting so you can check out what you actually have done so it's a very quick way uh, to check out your interior space all right so here i'm gonna go to beach scene that was just added to the maps and i can make i can open beach environment we have just beach lighting and this beach p it's got everything in it so i'm gonna click on this beach p and open that All right, so this was loaded. You can see uh, it's a very nice looking scene here. It's free, free for download, you know, got nice detail. All right, with HDRI, sun, everything is cool looking here. Now into this, I'm gonna bring my data smith. You can bring it into the empty project, but we're gonna bring it into I'm gonna go to export and open the loft 2020 we're just gonna bring it in here into content click import all right so this scene was added here uh, we don't see much uh, here we go So we're going to give a few moments just for those materials to compile. You can go here on the side and explore what we have. HDRI backdrop, exponential, highlight fog. Those actually were improved. Post processing, sky atmospherics. A lot of cool stuff. So, here our beach loft. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to lift it up a little bit and, uh, of course, turn it uh, to the side here just to get the lighting in. And uh, let's position it a little bit better. Okay. I actually want some shadows from that. I have a swim pool. That's the reason why, uh, for pulling it up. You know, I don't want um, anything going through my swim pool. Okay. Now let me 
pull this a little more to the side. It's looking cool. Okay. Uh, something like this, I think, could work. Okay. Now let's go. We can here select our camera. Let's go see what our camera sees. Oh, I think it's so dark. It's a physical correct camera, so we need to uh, we need to tweak it. I'm gonna exit the camera. And wow, my God, this stuff looking great. Okay, so if I click play, just to walk around here. Oh. Yeah, the maps are still compiling. You know, so we're gonna give it a little few minutes to compile. But this stuff is looking great, you know, just with the basic, even with the basic H uh, ambient inclusion and you know all the basic stuff we just export it, you know, look at those nice slice trick. You know, if we put cameras and just do, you know, pen left, pen right, this is already going to look great without even baking. But we're going to do some cool professional baking in the upcoming videos in order to get really nice quality. So basically, everything that you're going to see or you saw already in the previous tutorials can be applied with this new scene. Um, you're just not going to have any errors or any, you know, any warnings for your maps or overlaps you can see this stuff is looking already phenomenal just without even doing anything um, you know critical to this okay so I warmly encourage you to um, play around download of course update the version but uh, play around with this new scene bring it in see what results you guys get and um, if you new to this, you're welcome to join to our Unreal Engine VR class. We are starting our official update for this training with uh, 4.25 and 4.26 versions. Those are the most latest versions that just came out right now. And they have really amazing stuff. So thanks a lot. Download the scene. This is Alex, your Unreal Engine Guide. I'll see you soon. Ciao.